In this video, we'll look at some more changing rates of change. Here is a frozen yogurt machine. You fill a cone with yogurt and then get it weighed. It costs 59 cents per ounce. Since the cone weighs about half an ounce, you end up paying 29 cents for just the cone, plus the amount for the yogurt. Next to the cone is a scale that shows the total cost. It already shows a cost of 29 cents for the cone. I'll play an animation showing frozen yogurt being dispensed into the cone. As you watch the animation, Think about the relationship between the height of the frozen yogurt in the cone and the total cost. In particular, you'll need to determine whether the rate of change of total cost with respect to height of the yogurt is constant, increasing, decreasing, both increasing and decreasing, or something else. I'll start the animation now. Some people think that the rate of change is constant because the level on the scale appears to rise steadily. Others think that the rate of change is both increasing and decreasing because the height of the yogurt in the cone appears to rise quickly and then slowly. However, these two perspectives are first comparing cost to time and then height to time. And we need to compare cost to height. It turns out that the answer is that the total cost changes at an increasing rate with respect to the height of the frozen yogurt that is added to the cone. Let's think about why this is. First, I'll represent the total cost of the yogurt and the cone. The green arrow represents the cost of the cone itself. And I'll represent the change in the cost using a blue arrow. Next, I'll represent the height of the frozen yogurt in the cone using a red arrow. Let's rewind this to the start of the dispensing. Now I'll show this again. As the animation plays, think about how the height of the yogurt in the cone, the length of the red arrow, and the additional cost, the length of the blue arrow, are changing with respect to each other. Next, I'll add black bars to indicate the change in height. So on the bottom, the distance between the bars is showing the amount of change in height. We can copy this length onto the cost bar. Now, if we think about the amount of change in cost in dollars, we can see that the amount of change in cost is roughly 1.25 times as large as the amount of change in height. Let's rewind the animation. Let's start the animation again, this time incorporating the black bars to show the amount of change in height. At first, when the amount of change in height, the distance between the black bars, is small, the amount of change in cost, the length of the blue bar, was only about one-tenth as large as the amount of change in height. Later, when the amount of change in height was large, the amount of change in cost was about 1.25 times as large as the amount of change in height. This is what it means to have an increasing rate of change. In this scenario, we say that cost varies at an increasing rate with respect to height if, for successive uniform changes in height, the corresponding change in cost increases. This might be a little complicated to sort out, so let's take a closer look. First, let's think about the idea of uniform changes in height. To do this, let's split the amount of change in height into two equal-sized parts. So now there are two amounts of change in height that are equal to each other. These are successive uniform changes in height. Next, to make things a little easier to see, let's rotate the height bar. Now it's a little easier to see how the relationship between height and cost is changing. For the first amount of change in height, the amount of change in cost is about three-tenths as large as the amount of change in height. For the second fixed amount of change in height, the amount of change in cost is roughly two and a half times as large as the amount of change in height. So for these successive uniform changes in height, the corresponding change in cost is increasing. Let's see what would happen if we split the added height into five sections. Now, we've split the amount of change in height into five uniform sections. And you can see that the amount of change in cost is small for the first, and then increases for each successive change in height. So this is what it means to have an increasing rate of change. 